days like I love you with an everlasting love. My love do not stop. It goes on and on and on and on. Like the everywhere battery, he keep on going. Amen. You wind up, he keep on loving. Keep on loving. In other words, I'm not going to stop. Why? Because it's very important that you love, your love got to keep on going because why? You are examined, an example. As long as you're on this planet and you're walking around, the only way they're going to see God is through you. They may not see God in the flesh, but they're going to have to see Him through you because God is love. Years ago, I heard a guy say something that really got my attention. He told him it was overseas, and, and one of the guys said, he said, show me Jesus. The man was calling scripture, he said, but show me Jesus. How is they going to really see love? They got to see it through you. Ain't nobody going to, I don't care how many words you say, they got to see it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Examine. Examine God. And you're going to find and find and you're going to find and find that He's good. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. You're going to find and you're going to find out that He's good. Amen. Thank the Lord. You're going to find and you'll find. That means He's going to keep on finding out how good He is. In other words, you got to find out through your finding out. You go through so much trouble in your life and then you'll say, Ooh, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord, I thank You. Thank you, Lord, for this rescuing me. Uh -huh. When you begin to go through your go-through, that's how you taste and see that He's good. When you go through so much pain and trials and tribulations, and God delivered you out of a circumstance, whoo, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Uh -huh. I tasted Him. I felt His goodness. I seen His goodness. I felt His love. I seen what He did. Lord, I thank you. Oh, taste and see uh -huh. that He's good. Amen. What the Lord, what the, what the Lord tastes like? So many times, man, God rescued me. So many times when I was seeking in sin, God the rescued me. He was the rescue God. That's the kind of love that I, I felt. I felt His love. I felt it. And I said, Lord, I thank You. Time when you fell on your knees, I just cried out to God, Lord, I thank you for rescuing me. Time and time and, 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 and everything in me, I knew it was God because I felt his love. What do love taste like? When you felt it, but nobody else around you, you felt his presence. And you felt him encouraging you, say, keep on doing what you're doing. He said, I'm with you. What do love taste like? What it tastes like is sweeter than a honeycomb. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for loving kindness. How about going to keep on, keep on tasting. Keep on tasting love. Keep on doing it. Keep on showing love. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Keep on showing it. Amen. First Corinthians 13 and 13. And now about it, faith, hope, and love. But these three, but the greatest of these is love. He said, now by the faith, hope, and love. But out of the three, guess what? Love is the greatest out of the three. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you're going to do it, I don't care if you got faith, amen, hope, and, and you and, 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 and you want to put it as if I got faith and hope. But you better have love. That's the main one. Amen? That's the main one. Out of the three, faith, hope, and love, but you, which one are you going to find out? You're going to find out that love is the greatest out of all three. That's the one going to take you. That's the one that's bearing the fruit. That's the one that's going to help you. See, that is the fruit of the Spirit. And that's the one that's going to show and they're going to say something about you. What you want to know about character? A person that shows love got much character. Because love centers around all of it. Amen. Everything centers around love. Amen. What do love taste like? Amen. Oh, taste and see. Start showing it. Amen. Showing it means you stir the pot up. But I'm just going to spread myself around and show a little love. Amen. Thank you, Lord, love and kindness. Anything that you know that's going to be kind, nothing better. You do things for people. Amen. Something you did for a person, that was an act of kindness. Well, that's love. Amen. When you do something, you give somebody something, do something for somebody, that's an act of kindness. That's granted as love. That's granted as righteousness on your behalf. See, God see. Amen. So much as it's God to know my heart, He know, He see what you're doing. Amen. Thank you. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm going on. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Uh, Romans 8 and 38. Amen. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, no life, 
nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things of the present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any cre creature, amen, a any cre creatures shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen? He said, I'm, I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded to not let nothing separate me from the love. Nothing going to separate me from God, brother, because see, God's been good to me. Amen? I, I know that He's been good because, amen, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I've I seen Him do so much in my life, and the love that He demonstrated, I tasted it, and I seen how good He is. Oh, thank you, Lord. So nothing's going to separate me from His love. Amen? Thank you, Lord. He said, death, no life. No angels. Amen. It's a list of things. Principality, no power, no things of the present. I don't care what comes on in your in your life. Things of the present. He said, nothing gonna separate me from his God. I don't care if, if who get mad with who who do crazy things, I'm gonna keep on loving. Amen. What you have to make a proclamation, you have to make a declaration in your life that I ain't gonna let nothing separate me. See, when you get to the point in life. That you will love on and fight of what anybody else say or do. It's not just a just another message, it's not just a preach word, but it's examine yourself. Is you showing love? What the love tastes like? Are you an example? Examine yourself. This is not another feel-good message. This is a this is a word from God. He said, What do love taste like? I know sometimes we get to the point in our life that we feel like we got it packed, but we need to go back to the tape. Amen. Something is like it. Amen. Thank the Lord. We can always examine ourselves. Amen. He said, neither high nor death, nor, nor uh, uh, other creature shall separate me from the love of God. In other words, I'm not going to let nothing. Amen. Thank the Lord. Nobody, no person, no thing, no no, no nothing. No. In other words, I'm not going to be wrapped in materialistic things, houses, cars, and all this, all this stuff. I'm not going to let anything separate me. So what's going on in your life? You say, I will let nothing separate me from God's love. Somebody getting mad with you, that's, that's bad. Amen? Thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. You just, just, just say, hey, I still love you. Amen? Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. Amen? You don't have to say nothing back. Amen? Thank the Lord. First Peter 2, verses 2 and 3. As a new babe desires the pure milk of the Word, that you may grow thereby. Amen? Thank you, Lord. If indeed you have tasted that, that, that you have tasted that, the Lord is gracious. Amen. He said, now just like a baby, a newborn baby desired to make of the word. He said that he may grow thereby. He said, once you have tasted, once a baby has tasted the milk of the word, he says, it's just like a baby takes his eyes, his eyes, the pure milk of the word. Just like a baby, a newborn baby, desires the pure milk of the word that he may grow. You know how baby is searching for the milk? He's coming in the world, him becoming the milk. In the world, he wants some milk. He says, so I desire the milk of the word. He says, so it is with me. I, I love the word just that much. In other words, when you love it, you tasted it. You tasted the word, and the word so good that I can do this. He said, "With well, the living epistle, and I read, read it all, man." He said, "I tasted the word." Living epistle is saying the word. It's the word. It's the word. Living epistle said, "You living out the word. You live out the word because the word is engrossed in you." Uh -huh. I ain't said that. When the word is in you, it's not. It's not just that you read it, but you you live it. See, when it's in you, it's it's, it's a sincere. Amen? Thank the Lord. See, it's pure and it's sincere. See, the baby is so sincere at the point that he wants the bottle, he wants the milk. He said, I want the pure, I want that pure uh, 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 milk. He said, I want the pure milk of the Word. I want the pure milk of the Word. I need the Word. I need, I need to know how the love tastes like. Amen? Indeed, it tastes that it tastes. He said, indeed, you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Indeed, you have tasted it. He's so gracious with His love. Indeed, you have tasted it. And some point of time, you have tasted it. God did something for you. Amen? What does your love taste like?